night tonight and into tomorrow morning. Certainly much needed beneficial moisture as we continue to deal with ongoing drought conditions here across the region, and this has gotten worse just within the last week. You'll notice more locations in extreme and exceptional drought. The worst two categories where we see the red and the deeper, darker maroon color from Brenham extending down towards Wharton that has expanded quite significantly within the last week. This was released on Thursday, so it does not account for the rain that we saw here today. It gets updated every Thursday, so we'll have a look at that again next week. But the lake levels here locally aren't too bad. Lake Houston and 95% full. Uh, Lake Conroe, Lake Livingston, both in the low 90s there. But it's as you head westward out towards Austin and San Antonio. You'll notice Lake Travis, Medina Lake running quite low. And in many cases, I was out towards Lake Travis just a couple days ago. You can see the lakes, the, the, the docks, and some of the boats are right on the ground because that's how low the lakes are at this time. We know what happens in the Highland Lakes chain does eventually impact us here across southeast Texas. So uh, definitely important to keep a check on what's going on in central Texas as well. Our expected rainfall as we get through the next couple of days, not seeing a huge amount here across the state, but it's better than what we have seen. And we do have daily rain and storm chances in our forecast as we get through the next couple of days, and that does include the weekend. So watching out for this, if you've got plans in place for the day tomorrow, you may want to have a plan B just in case. Starts off pretty scattered in the morning, but we'll start to see the activity become more widespread by the time we head towards the afternoon. And any of the rain that we do see tomorrow could be heavy at times. So definitely something we'll watch out for. We do get a break as we head towards Saturday night, and then we'll recharge as we get into the early part of Sunday. Additional showers and thunderstorms will be popping up as we get through the midday on Sunday, right through the afternoon, and then again, a break as we get towards Sunday night. And then additional rainfall with us in through pretty much every day of next week. It's a very typical August pattern setting up with scattered showers and thunderstorms.